This is the first of two podcasts in which I'm going to be talking about medicines which contain paracetamol in combination with another drug. In this first podcast, I'll give a brief introduction to the drugs. Then I'll talk about two types of error that have occurred with them. So in the second part, then I'll talk about a third common type of error. The two drugs that we're going to focus on are cocodamol and codidromol. So firstly, let's look at cocodamol. It's a combination of two drugs, codeine and paracetamol. And codeine uh, can be extracted from the opium poppy plant, so it's an opioid painkiller. It's less potent than morphine, and so it's used to treat pain of mild to moderate severity. The other ingredient in cocodamol is paracetamol, which we're all familiar with. It's the most commonly used over-the-counter painkiller. Generally, it's a fairly safe drug with few side effects. However, doses that are higher than the recommended level can cause severe, potentially fatal liver damage. Cocodamol is available in two different strengths. There are 8 500 milligram tablets and 30 500 milligram tablets. The 8 500 milligram tablets contain 8 milligrams of codeine and 500 milligrams of paracetamol in each tablet. Then the 30 500 milligram tablets contain 30 milligrams of codeine in addition to that 500 milligrams of paracetamol per tablet. Now looking at codidromol, again it's made up of two ingredients but instead of codeine it contains dihydrocodeine in addition to the paracetamol. Again dihydrocodeine is a weak opioid analgesic and it's very similar to codeine and you can see there's hardly any difference between the chemical structure of the two drugs. There are a few different strengths of codidromol, but there's actually only one that we use in our organization, and that's the 10 500 milligram tablets. So these contain 10 milligrams of dihydrocodeine and 500 milligrams of paracetamol per tablet. So that's a little bit of an introduction to the medicines. Now I want to talk about the errors that we see with them. So each of these errors that I'm going to be talking about has actually occurred in the trust. So these aren't, aren't just theoretical. In the first error, a service user was prescribed cocodamol 8 500 milligram tablets, but they were actually administered 30 500 milligram tablets. So I guess the lesson here is to be aware that cocodamol comes in two different strengths and make sure you pick the correct one. In the second error, a service user was prescribed cocodamol, but they were actually administered codidromol. And you can see that as well as having very similar names, the two products also look very similar in appearance. So again, be careful when selecting the drug, make sure you pick the correct one. So next time I'll look at a third common type of error involving paracetamol combination products. But in the meantime, thanks for watching.